He knocked me over. Um, I landed on the dog bowl. This one's wife. Is she losing her hair? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Hair. Hair is fairly important to people. Once upon a time, deemed more to serve a purpose with regard to keeping you warm. These days, it's more a cosmetic expression. There is, of course, a vast industry surrounding hair, both in terms of what can be used to wash it, condition it, colour it, and, of course, cutting and styling it. Hair is often seen as a way to express yourself, to assert part of your personality with regard to the type of hairstyle that you wear. And, of course, many people will judge you on your hairstyle as to whether it's appropriate for a particular job, for instance, that whether it goes with a particular lifestyle. Hair loss, of course, is something that can be a major problem for people, both men and women, but especially women. The removal of hair has also been used as a form of punishment. Shaving somebody's head has been used as a form of punishment for centuries, from ancient times to even the modern day. It's been used to shame, humiliate and punish individuals for a variety of reasons. The psychological impact of shaving somebody's head can result in low self-esteem, depression and anxiety. It's been done, for instance, in ancient Egypt, where it, that was actually a sign of mourning. In ancient Greece, the removal of hair from soldiers and prisoners was, shaved, was done to signify a loss of freedom. In medieval Europe, women who committed adultery were publicly shaved, losing their hair as a form of punishment. It's used as a form of punishment because hair is seen very much as an extension of somebody's personality, that it's linked to their self-esteem. With some men, of course, they will take action to try and stop the balding, utilising hair plugs and certain hair treatments. In other instances, they're encouraged to embrace the bald, to shave it all off and just go with the old chrome dome. For women... Hair loss, which might be as a consequence of, for instance, treatment for cancer. It might be as a consequence of an underlying condition. It may be as a consequence of illness. is often particularly troubling to a woman, as women particularly define themselves through their hairstyle. And therefore, the loss of their hair, alongside the problem that they might be experiencing by way of illness or having treatment for some kind of illness, proves particularly upsetting for them. What about a narcissist and the potential loss of hair? Well, it'd be particularly troubling for a somatic narcissist, for as I have explained in the past, the somatic narcissist is governed by appearance and material objects. Therefore, the somatic narcissist will often want to appear stunning, spending a lot of money on their appearance by way of clothing, makeup, cosmetics, cosmetic surgery, having their hair styled. They may drive a flashy car, live in a large house, furnish the house with expensive items. They want to be seen at the hottest hangouts. Somatic narcissists often end up having a lot of sex. Thus, appearance is particularly important to the somatic narcissist because it is through appearance that the somatic narcissist is able to control and draw a response. It provokes a reaction which provides fuel. Therefore, you will often find somatic narcissists, which is what this one's wife is, ensuring that their hair is expensively styled. They might wear wigs. They might utilise extensions to ensure that they have voluminous hair, a thick mane of hair, whether man or woman, and that they utilise their hairstyle as a means of drawing responses by way of attention. This one's wife has faced repeated scrutiny about her hair, often criticised for the way that it looks, 
sometimes appearing as if she's just got out of bed, often described as straggly and rat-tailed. There are suspicions that she utilises wigs or that she utilises extensions, which of course would not be a surprise for a somatic narcissist. But now there is the suggestion that she just might be losing her hair, possibly as an overuse of extensions. I received a picture that was sent to me by email that shows this one's wife and on the face of it appears to demonstrate that there is some kind of hair loss. The Where the picture is taken from, I don't know. Some of you might be aware. I don't know who's taken it, but it's clearly this one's wife. As far as I'm aware, it hasn't been doctored in any way, which of course, given all of the brouhaha about the tampering of photos as of late, it's important to point that out. And therefore, I'll let you determine whether you see this as a photograph of veracity or not. But on the basis that it is, it does appear to demonstrate that the Duchess of Sussex is experiencing some hair loss. Here's the picture, so you can judge for yourselves. Now, in the thumbnail, of course, we have this one's wife mocked up as if she's going completely baldy, looking like Les Grossman from Tropic Thunder. Of course, it isn't at that stage, but as you can see from the photograph that appears on your screen as I'm talking to you now, this is clearly this one's wife. It's not evident when this picture has been taken, and her hair has been brushed back, perhaps by the wind, perhaps by motion, perhaps that she smoothed it back herself, and that certainly does seem to show that there is a significant reduction in hair, and that ordinarily, when it hangs forward, it covers up that patch. I must emphasise, of course, that the provenance of this photograph hasn't been established, and therefore there is the possibility that it is inaccurate. But on the basis that it is not, this would suggest that some kind of hair loss is being experienced by her. As I explained earlier, the issue of hair loss is something that's particularly troublesome to people, and in general terms, more worrying to a woman than a man. It's generally deemed more acceptable for men to wander around as bold than women. Of course, men experience boldness far more often than women do, hence part of the reason why it impacts upon women so much, because it is comparatively rare. Nevertheless, for a somatic narcissist such as this one's wife, for her to be experiencing apparent hair loss is disastrous. It threatens her need for control by suggesting that she isn't as beautiful as she believes herself to be. Whilst there are many individuals who have embraced having a bald look or very close cropped hair and it entirely suited them, for instance Demi Moore and Natalie Portman immediately spring to mind, Sinead O'Connor being another individual who very much suited having next to no hair on her head, for many people it's something that they couldn't countenance. But for this one's wife, who, as a somatic narcissist and one through her distortion field, regularly believes that she's gorgeous, beautiful, stunning, heart attack, beautiful, etc. The loss of hair, if the case, is something that is particularly problematic to her. Like anybody else who doesn't want to be seen with hair loss, she'll take steps to mask it, and just because she does so, isn't being deceitful. It's simply adjusting something it's similar to wearing makeup that you're portraying something slightly different because you don't like the way that you look plenty of people do that and they're not narcissists but for a narcissist to start losing hair if this is the case this is particularly problematic it threatens her need for control it undermines her sense of status and there's something that needs to be done about it it causes her to be viewed at least in her mind as less desirable. And remember, her narcissism tells her that she's hugely desirable, that women want to be like her, that men want to sleep with her, that everybody that meets her either wants to be one of those two things. And therefore, her appearance, she wants to present one which is commensurate with that ideal. We know, as I've explained before, that as a consequence of the clothing that she wears, she gets it wrong repeatedly. However, she still believes that she looks fantastic. And here, the possibility of her losing her hair and that a photograph has emerged of it which has been shared on social media, if genuine, is a substantial threat to control and one 
that she would look to quash and ensure is never repeated again. What are your observations about this photograph? Do you think it's genuine? Do you think it's been tampered with? And what do you think it means to this one's wife if it is the case that she's losing her hair? I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.